Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Today we're playing as the pilot because the pilot, I think, has a much better chance of actually accomplishing this elevator goal that we're going for. We can use the lockpick to try to open some chests without having to spend keys on them. And we have our disarming personality to make it a little bit more likely that we'll be able to afford both keys from the shop and the 120 casings that we need for Elevator Man. Uh, I think we, we might have to skip the oubliette. You're guaranteed to get three keys on the first two floors. Because you start with one, and there's two keys. There's a key in each of the first two shops. Um, I am not certain that we'll be able to get enough casings without doing the oubliette, oubliette but I, we are going to try it. I think that's going to be the strategy for today. As we'll see how things look when we actually get uh, finished with the first floor. It might We might be in a position where it makes sense to go to the oubliette. Maybe we get lucky and get a couple extra key drops or something, but I think probably we're going to skip the oubliette this time. See if we can make up the uh, make up the credits without it. Oh man, also uh, our water barrel got broken there somehow, so maybe we won't be able to access the oubliette even if we want to go to it. There was a water barrel in the room where we fought the big gun knight, and I didn't worry about it, because I knew there would be a water barrel in the fireplace room. But now I wish I had been more careful. And also, uh, speaking of being more careful... You know, this is just my traditional lose a heart within the first couple of rooms play. I find that it puts the uh, the inhabitants of the gungeon in sort of a place of uh, false sense of security. It's important. It's much easier to defeat them if they think they can't be defeated. If they think I'm definitely going to lose. You know, the way I do. Oh my god, please die. There we go. I feel like this guy's pistol might have even worse base accuracy than everybody else's. It does just kind of go all over the place. I was kind of hoping we would find our first chest a little faster. We need time for our lockpick to regenerate, you know? This is a remarkable number of enemies for a first floor room. Really, it's still going. Okay. Sometimes the first floor does feel a little bit tedious. This is a problem with roguelikes in general. Roguelites in general, I guess. I don't Listen, the distinction is meaningful, but also people basically just don't make roguelikes. So, if you say roguelike, everybody's going to know you basically mean the kinds of games that are actually coming out that are like this. Um, but this, like, this thing where the beginning of the run is kind of tedious, but the shortcut system is such that you can't really skip the beginning of the run. I'm not sure what a good solution would be. Oh, hey, that's a mimic. Okay, that's actually kind of good for us. Uh, do we want to take the Mimic out now? I think let's not. Let's try to force a gun drop from the boss. Which I guess means I could just go fight the boss now. Yeah, I probably should. Even though fighting a boss with your uh, with the default pistol is not a super great experience. It's probably better to try to load up on guns first. I was really hoping there would be two keys in the shop here. Because we only have to pay 21 for him, right? Yeah. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and just do this. Alright, Gatling Gull. I'm never super happy to see this guy. And Gatling Gull is the boss I the first floor boss I am most likely to take damage against. Which is not to say that he's difficult, because he's not. He's probably not even the most difficult of the first floor bosses. But uh, something about fighting this guy just like continually eludes me. Also, this pistol is not effective at any kind of range at all. Ah, what's up now? 
Let's play this little uh, this little cover game with him. I don't know that this is the fastest way to get the damage done, but it is making me not take damage. There's a lot of value in that. It would be cool if we could get through this and get both a sweet gun and a master round from him. I was a little worried there that the, the missiles were doing a really good job of, like, cornering me. No, I rolled... I was walking backwards to set up enough distance to forward roll again without, like, crashing into him. And I apparently pressed roll right before I started pressing toward him again. <laughs> Which is a story you all are just gonna have to believe. I have actually, uh, I have thought about setting up a... I know there's a thing you can get, a program you can get that... ...displays your keyboard input on the screen. I have thought about uh, using that, because sometimes I think it would be valuable, especially for more active games like this, for people to be able to see what I'm doing with my hands in case they are having trouble with the game. Alright, well, the M1911 is a totally okay gun. This was probably not really a great outcome for us, all things considered. It's better than the default pistol, but not like a lot. Also, it really does destroy tombstones very efficiently. Okay, got lucky there. Unfortunately, I don't really love the RPG. Go quick. Okay. So we've made almost no money this far. It's actually been really, really bad. Really hard time hitting him for some reason. Okay. There we go. Back you into the corner. Oh, hey, the bees. I love the bees. So we've really not made a lot of money. We have to buy this key. We're going down to the next floor with 18 casings. We'd have to make 102 casings on the next floor in order to, uh, in order to do this. That's just not going to happen, right? Like, we actually do have to go to the Oubliette. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know, it might just be the case that this it's not possible for us to get it on this run. I think this is a thing that you can't get consistently. This this might be a thing you have to get lucky for. Oh, right. I don't have a way to go to the Oubliette anyway. Okay, well, I guess we're just headed down to the next floor. We should probably try to find the secret room, actually. Let's blank in the shop. Let's check uh, this treasure room. Maybe get a little bit lucky here. Nope. Okay. Uh... I'm not going to obsess over this. Okay. Got lucky. And it's unlocked. And hey, it contains some money. That's good for us. Was there... There was no great guy in here, right? Okay. Uh, we might still be able to do this. But I think it would require either some really incredible luck with money drops or a great guy in the second floor shop. Yeah, if there's a great guy in the second floor shop, this is still probably totally doable, though. Oh, key man. A key man is money. We don't have to buy the, uh, the key in the second floor shop. That makes this a lot easier. Okay. Alright, I'm feeling... I'm feeling better. If, if there's a great guy in the second floor shop, I think we're fine. We might still have to get a little bit lucky. Oh, we could also, uh... Potentially find that vampire lady and just sell her some of our health. That would solve the problem. She can apparently occur both in shops and just in rooms by herself. You know, I was upset when this was the gun we got from the boss, but it is certainly doing a much better job than our default pistol would. There we go. Unfortunately, that grenade was getting knocked back a lot more than I wanted him to. I was hoping when, when I saw the spawns that we could just use him to kill the entire, uh, kill both of the sharks. 
Seems like this thing has a lot more knockback. I should probably also be using the bees more aggressively. It doesn't really take that... They don't have that much cooldown. They can be saving us a little bit of ammo. Okay, we got another cell. This time, uh, some kind of space marine guy. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not really... I'm not even playing up my ignorance on this one. I do not remember what the value of that guy is. The shop just has one key in it, and we don't have to buy it. We did not get a great guy. So... Now we have the keys, but I think we probably don't have the money. It's not impossible. We could make, uh... We could make 13 more casings over the rest of the floor, and then get lucky and get one of those 50s from the boss. But I think that's the only way this is happening now. It's not the end of the world if we can't get the elevator shortcut on this run, but I do really want to get done with it. Like in order to unlock the further, uh, the future elevator shortcuts, we have to get this one done. We cannot work on them in tandem; they are consecutive. Ah, the older guys explode when they die, but unfortunately, apparently, they go flying backwards first. Hoping I was going to be able to use him to kill that shotgun kid. I know that the RPG has to reload slowly, to be fair, but, like, it doesn't need to be this slow. Okay, actually, a boss might be really good. We might... We might get enough money from this boss to make our, uh, our elevator shortcut happen. I should probably try to time the explosions a little bit better so that we're eating the bullets from his attacks. I say while not doing that thing. Nope, too early. Get him to position and go. Nope, too early again. You know, easier said than done, this idea. <sighs> Boy, those are just not dodgeable, huh? Like, they may not hit you, but it will not be because you chose for them not to hit you. Come on. Oh, right, 50. Actually, we're good. Okay, cool. And he gave us a heart, or a heart, a key, and yeah, that was actually phenomenal. What a good find. And it looks like we may, uh, we might be good on keys for the rest of the run at this rate. <laughs> Take a little cover here. Let them tire themselves out. Alright, so I guess we may as well go and, uh, do the thing right now because I'm going to forget if we don't. This is a high cost elevator, man. Better be some pretty good elevator parts. That's most of the parts taken care of, but I'm gonna have to order some things from the acquisitions department. You bring me ten. Uh, okay, guy. I have that. The other thing I'll need is a power source. Oh, yeah, is that all? For a job like this, I'm gonna need something immensely magical from Chamber One. These elevators don't exactly run on counterweights. If you find something like that, will you bring it to me? An immensely powerful. Power source from Chamber 1. Immensely magical power source from Chamber 1. Uh, probably that means the Master Round. I don't actually remember. What else is immensely magical on Chamber 1? I guess the Prime Primer might be available in the shop again. It might be that you're supposed to figure out this elevator stuff before you figure out the bullet, the, uh, the bullet that can kill the past stuff. I'm a little disappointed that we can't get it done this run, then, but at least we uh, we made some good progress on it. So have we gotten a gun yet this floor? Are these... I think those are all from last floor. And we don't really have a good gun yet. So I think we might want to go fight the boss before we open up any of the chests here. 
Okay, it's enough. It's enough with the bullets. Oh, you guys stay over there. Yeah, actually, we are uh, we're making a ton of money this floor. Sometimes the gungeon provides, you know? All you gotta do is trust. And also get really, really lucky, regardless of the trust thing. Oh my gosh, it's not... Uh, it's not the green guan stone. We finally unlocked some other black level stuff. Hey, it's an extra life. An uncomfortable answer to an uncomfortable truth. This clone can replace a single gungeoneer upon their death with almost no lapse in memory. Okay, well then I would say it looks pretty likely that we're getting to the end of this. Looks like it might just be a successful run. And then we have two blue chests available. What else was in the shop? I didn't even really look. Flare gun, which I don't like very much. Oiled cylinder. This gnawed key. Well, that's got to have something to do with the rat. There's a lot of weird, mysterious rat stuff happening there. No fourth bees! Oh wow, I almost got hit immediately! Get away from me, snake. I actually walked into that. Well, in a sense, it's nice, because now the pressure's off. I get that- I get hit by that first bullet during a boss fight, and I'm upset, but also, simultaneously, everything unclenches. Am I actually going to die during this boss fight? There's a non-zero chance, right? I guess we have our extra life, so it'd be a shame to use it so early. You know, the ammo condo doesn't really have that much health. I wonder if they nerfed him. I remember him being, like, by far the most difficult of the second floor bosses. The Beholster is like a free master round, basically. Okay, I do have another blank. Just gotta remember to use the blanks. Okay. That was an embarrassing performance, but we're still alive. Also, what is that? The Zilla shotgun. Oh, you know what? I think this was... This is not a new item. I think I remember it being pretty good. Four-barreled shotgun that can be fired all at once. Quadruple the fun. Zilla Industries is famous for crafting bespoke weapons for highly talented gunslingers. This shotgun was created with only one concept in mind. Maximum destructive potential. I mean, I feel like if you're a gun manufacturer, you should make all of your guns with that concept in mind, right? That's, that's what guns are for. Wow, thanks for rescuing me. I'm heading back to the breach. We'll see each other again. I'm sure of it. Okay. Yeah. I agree with that. I think we probably will. If you're going back to the breach, I think that's where I'm going to. So, did we buy this guy's key? We didn't. Uh, and I guess I'll put eight casings toward the Nod key. We'll get it in about 500 runs. So, we're pretty low on items. It's early in the game. I'll tell you what. Why don't we open one of these? Okay. Laser rifle's a fine gun. And then I'll just break the other one. We'll, we'll carry two keys down to the next floor. Hopefully get a little luckier on our a uh, little luckier on our chest col colors. Man, what is going on with my speech today? I never used to think of myself as a person who might have a stutter, but uh, ever since I started doing Let's Plays, kind of got to wonder. Okay. Huh. Well... Another note from the rat. Is it going to be the same note? Some chests are red, but more of them blue. No matter what's in them, I'll steal it from you. Thanks for the stuff, Flunky. Okay. The rat and I are going to have to have some conversations. I don't think I'm going to spend keys on these blue chests. Let's just pop these open. Maybe we'll get lucky and get that sentient junk? Okay, at this point, I will actually take a, uh, take a blue, or take a, a piece of health, that's fine. Alright, I think we're honestly in a pretty good position here, going into floor three. We have no money, but we have enough chests, or we have enough keys to open all the chests here. We have a pretty great array of weapons. 
And we have an extra life in case things really go awry. Okay, that's right. You, you charge it up. So it carries four rounds, and you can just use it as a shotgun. Or you can charge it up and discharge all of the rounds at once, and then it bounces all over the place. And... Yeah, this gun seems fine. I think I'm probably mostly just going to use it as a shotgun. Uh, do we have anything... Yeah, I guess I... Even if I don't think the RPG is very good, this amount of ammo missing is not a reasonable way to expend a uh, an ammo crate. Okay, kind of remarkable that I didn't get hit there. So yeah, rat stuff. Rat stuff's happening a lot. Are these rats, like... Are these a clue? Is this the room where the... Like, if I blank in this room, what happens? Oh! Wait. Huh. There's a... There's a lock, a very obvious lock there on the ground, but it won't light up and I can't... Like, I'm mashing the interact key. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I probably... Right, I probably need the Nod key. That's the Nod key. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Oh, we've got ourselves the Face Melter. I'm excited about this. This is a fun gun. A normal electric guitar that drops an amplifier on reload for double the power. Unfortunately, musical talent and gungeoneering skill do not often overlap. Any damage caused by this gun has little to do with the gungeon. It's kind of a weird weapon. I don't know that it's necessarily great, but I do think it's real cool. So it does this. It fires in four directions, and you run into the room and reload and drop your amp. And the amp also fires. I mean, it's pretty much just a, a cooler version of the Crown of Guns. The Crown of Guns doesn't, sw it doesn't play sweet guitar licks while you're uh, shooting it, though. I think that gives the clear advantage to this one. I guess I should probably fire a little bit and then reload as early into the room as possible. I'm just, like, running into bullets. I'm going out of my way to run into bullets. You know, it'd be really cool if I didn't pop my extra life already. Maybe we could, like, get to the difficult part of the dungeon before that happens? Also, jeez. It's, uh, it's just a lot of keys, you know? I think this is the first time I've seen this particular trap room. Okay, the Elder Blank. Given how things are going with keys, we can probably drop the lockpicks. And then we'll just, real quick, give these rooms a little... Are these walls a little scan? Man, not a lot of teleporters, this floor. A weirdly small number of teleporters so far. Okay, so I have to remember to actually have the correct active item up. And what do you think the odds are that I'm actually going to make good use of two active items, given how much har how much difficulty I have remembering to use one of them? Well, I'm pretty sure I was actually going to die there, sad as that is, so at least that was a good blank use. casters up there somewhere. Oh, we can just push this guy off. There we go. We held him back with the sheer power of our rock. Almost taking hits for absolutely no reason. I should probably be like really aggressive with my two items. Seems like the Elder Blank charges up faster than the Jar, the jar of Bees. Or maybe... It could be the case that um, active items that are not in your current active slot charge slower. It's definitely charging some, at least. Okay. So we did actually manage to hit the D20 guy with that, uh, that explosion. We've unlocked the Amulet of the Pit Lord. Oh, you know what? You unlock that by um, pushing enough guys into pits. Well, we got the duct tape already. We have access to this bionic leg, which, as you might imagine, mostly just makes you faster. 
I think that's actually all it does. Should I be buying health? Nah. We have an extra life. We'll just use the clown. Nope, I failed to dodge. Well, here comes our extra life. Oh, you start back at the very beginning, but with all your stuff. We can get the master round. We will finish this elevator thing on this run yet. Also, this should be a really easy floor one. Uh, yeah, sure. Rocket powered bullets. I don't know if that's gonna have any. All right, I shouldn't. Shouldn't reload. Reload when you walk into a new room, not before you walk. I don't think this is actually like a, a very good gun, but it sure is fun to use. It's not really even that fun to use. I like the music though. There you go. There's my justification. I like the music. I should. Probably be more careful about the water barrels. Hold on, let's switch to a different gun for this room. Presumably there is a water barrel in here somewhere, and I would like for that to still be the case when we are done shooting everything. I don't know for sure that I want to go to the Oubliette, but we at least have the ability to go to the Oubliette. We should try to maintain that until I know what I'm doing. That said, that was kind of a lot of explosions, so who knows, maybe we've already lost our water barrel. I have no idea where it was. Nope, it's... Oh boy. The barrel that was right next to it got destroyed, but somehow we managed to hold on to that one. Man, you remember that thing I said about the videos being shorter? Probably starting a new run effectively half an hour into the video is not a good way to make progress on that particular goal. Whatever, this time it wasn't my fault. The game made me do it. Alright, let's go back to our guitar. We're gonna solve this gungeon problem with the power of music. It feels much less violent to me, even though I am definitely, absolutely killing these guys. Sometimes sweet electric guitars kill people. I played Devil May Cry 3, I know. Also, you could definitely kill somebody with the Doof Warriors guitar. Not that you should. That's not why it shoots fire. It shoots fire because shooting fire while you play metal music is awesome. I'm just saying you could have. And were we given access to that car, I certainly w or that guitar, I certainly would. Do I want to do the Oubliette? I mean, like, if we're going for just getting as powerful as possible so as to allow us to have the best chance of clearing the game, probably I should, right? Especially given how incredibly focused the game is on giving us keys. I am not going to open this brown chest. We're going to take the junk and just build up our little junk supply, and if we find the sentient junk, he's going to be so... So happy. I just reloaded. Okay, hold on. Reload in the new room. I'm telling you, it's a compulsion instilled by years and years of playing other shooting games. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and open this. Oh, hey, that's the icebreaker. We just bought this. Alternates between frigid blasts and explosive slugs. The ice waker, the ice breaker was designed by Edwin, the legendary gunsmith. The only gun to combine freezing and shattering technology into one convenient package. Yeah, so it's an ice shotgun that also blows stuff up. I think this is a pretty good gun. Okay. No secret room here. So I guess all that's left is to fight the boss. 
boy, if I can't get this, um, to pro probably should not use the guitar here. You know, the laser rifle might be the way to go for this one. If I can't get the master round now, with the elder blank and everything, like, it'll be very embarrassing. We are going to not get hit by the easy to avoid attack. We're going to remember that we have a blank. I'm going to throw bees. I'm just going to blank that. We have effectively an awful lot of blank usages available to us. Let's be aggressive with them. Yeah, this thing, the other blank charges up really quickly. I was hoping to uh, block that attack and invalidate his next attack, but he did not. Did not even try to shoot shortly after. Okay. Well, that was easy. Okay. Frost Giant, a key, armor, and a master round. Two keys. I think the game's trying to softball us a little bit here. I'm not upset, to be clear. Uh, so, did we... We did not find the secret room on this floor yet. Let's pop over here. Try blank in the shop. And then try a blank in this... I'm like... Okay, I was going to say I'm really not interested in taking a super long time to figure this out. So these are all mimics. Uh, in this room, a room this small. Okay, let's, uh, let's break as many of these barrels as we can. Try to remove all of the things that could kill a shot. I'm pretty sure we don't want to actually like get within touch range of the mimics. I think they, they get set off by that. That's pretty good. Okay. This should be a good start. Oh, that wasn't charged enough to actually fire? There we go. I'm kind of surprised that they're still alive. There we go. Okay, uh, two potions of lead skin. Well, let's take the flash ray. Do I want a potion of lead skin over my bees? Potion of lead skin is a temporary invulnerability. In fact, I believe it makes you reflect bullets. Is that better than bees? Honestly, I don't think so. I think bees are really good. Yeah, I'm fine with this. The the rat can have those. At some point, we're going to have to beat that rat up and get our stuff back. And I guess if that happens, I won't be happy he has all these lead potions. Uh, I think, yeah, we're good. I mean, let's just move on to the oubliette. Next run will be shorter, I swear. Here, I think we should take full advantage of what the game is offering us. I guess we'll use the Frost Giant for now. That's, yeah, that's fine. We have a lot of big, ridiculous, effective weaponry. And we now get to, uh, I guess, I think it's the master round that you have to give the guy. I think we do have to give it to him, though, which means we are going to lose it. So we do still need to get some more, need to secure another couple sources of health. I, uh, I pressed dodge there, but I stopped moving as well. And when you press dodge while not moving, nothing happens. <laughs> This gun's all right. This gun will get the job done. So the good news about losing our master round is... Uh, I, it means it doesn't matter if our fourth heart is full or not. So we're effectively at full, heart, full health. We've basically not really taken damage. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna find that silver lining. You have to really want to see it, but it's there. Uh, let's not make any decisions here just yet. I will check for the secret room, though. Okay.
Yeah, this gun's alright. I really got the stupid fingers today. Like, I just... I'm getting into situations like there. I knew I needed to dodge or hit blank or something. Speaking of which... Probably be using these bees much more aggressively. Uh, and instead, I pressed the switch weapon key and then the map key. <laughs> Almost every button I have access to that isn't one of the buttons I needed. And man, we really have like a, we have a uh, an excellent array of guns that are totally good. None of them are awesome, but our effective good ammo capacity is really, really high. It's a nice place to be in. This room, on the other hand, not, uh, not nearly as nice. Also, sadly, at this, at this range, it seems like the laser rifle mostly misses. Get in there. Aw. You know, honestly, I considered for a moment just breaking that instead. Maybe I should have. Uh, let's go back to the guitar. Or maybe I should have just not picked up the sidearm. Because it, it did seem possible, at least, that not picking up a gun uh, means it counts as though you did not get a gun on the floor, and so the boss would still drop one. Based on the sample size of one that we had earlier. So it would be really cool to get a much better gun than that. I guess now that we've gotten the gun already, there's no sense in waiting on these. Okay. One wish, three times. Goonies? Gunnies? What is the gun version of a genie? Gu I guess it's gunnies. Despite the fact that the Mimicking the first sound of genies would make this more like Goonies? I don't know. Unlike their non-gun counterparts, have no problem with death wishes. Also, I think most genies are probably fine with death wishes. That's some, uh, that's some stuff that's made up by the man because he's afraid if you ever get a hold of a genie, you're going to use it to wish his death. Which he's right about. Probably not a great room clearer, though. Let's go back to our sweet guitar. I was trying really, really hard there to get that angled such that we could we could be playing at one guy and the amp would be dealing with the other guy. Just any other guy. Just to make it seem cool. Uh, we're going to buy this Tangler. I like the Tangler a lot. We get Rectangled. The reason it's called the Tangler uh, is because it rectangles enemies. Probably, when you saw that name, you assumed that it was going to, like, I don't know, bind them up in roots or something. But nope, it just rectangles them. It rectangles them real good. It fires particles from a dimension where matter only exists matter o exists only in rectilinear form. Man, I got the stupid tongue to go with my stupid fingers. So yeah, it does this. I mean, that's not really that. Those guys are already rectangles. But that, it does that. Shoots rectangular bullets that rectangle your enemies all up. Also, it's just it's just real good as a shotgun. It just does the thing very well. It's the spread's not too wide. The projectiles are nice and fast. It does take a really long time to reload. Also, just walking off cliffs. I better not lose a run where I had clone. The embarrassment of that. Okay, let's see. What do we want to grab ammo for? Probably the Frost Giant. And then I'm going to keep using the Rectangler for now.
It feels like every gun takes longer to reload than I'm used to. It's really just like one run with sped up reloads is enough to break all of my instincts. That doesn't seem right. At least it shouldn't be right. Do I want to spend the key on this? Yeah, I think we're doing really well. Okay, we've got a laser sight and a synergy. I'm not going to press the button. Okay, it is a synergy with the rocket launcher called Particle Flow. Uh, did it change the rocket launcher? It looks like maybe not. This might this might have been a synergy that improves the laser sight, which is to say, effectively all of our guns. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So what of my many many guns? What would be best for fighting this boss? Honestly, the frost giant just dumps damage really fast. So does the lamp, though, if I remember correctly. Let's try. Let's try the lamp here. Uh. What's this guy doing here? That's very odd. So yeah, Genie shows up and punches the crap out of people. You shoot them with the lamp, you get little wish marks above their head. And on the third wish, the Genie shows up and punches for a lot of damage, although, honestly kind of disappointed with his output so far here. Why don't we try something a little bit more direct? Let's see about this particle flow. Okay. Is that... Okay, yep. Yeah, it's, it's a lock-on thing. So this is what uh, this is what the synergy has done. It's made it functionally impossible to miss with the rocket launcher. Which is kind of a good thing because the rocket launcher projectile is very slow. So yeah, no matter where we fire, it goes directly toward him. Also, him being in the middle of the room is, like, the worst thing. Also, I gotta remember. Bees. Hmm. Why don't I have my lock-on reticle on him anymore? I'm for real gonna die on the run. Hold on, we gotta... He's got to put some damage into this guy real fast. There's a for real chance of me dying here on this run where we have clone. Had clone. I have got to step it up. Get out of here. Get out of here, you. Alright, the Claranthi ring gives us dodge power up. That's totally fine. This ancient ring spin spins slowly about its axis even when worn. That sounds incredibly painful. I don't know, I guess. I guess that's a better dodge. Honestly, can't tell. Okay. I gotta step it up a little bit here. I guess let's just... let's just move on. We had already checked both of the treasure rooms, so I was hopeful that this secret room was gonna be in the shop there. All right, let's give this master round to the elevator guy. Let's hope that the master round is actually what he wanted and then give it to him. And he said this was the last thing. That master round is exactly what I need. Yes, okay, good. Here. This must have been very hard to get. Yeah, you have no idea what I went through. T. Go down here. Yeah, okay. He's working on it. It'll be done soon. So, now we can start the game on the second floor. Unfortunately, as I have, I believe, uh, <laughs> been pretty clear about, it's almost never worth doing. Uh, you just start the game so much less powerful when you start on a later floor. So even though the first floor can be kind of tedious, uh, we probably will always start on the first floor because it's just, you need your guns, you know? You need your opportunity to get guns and to get that master round. That's another thing, uh, starting on the second floor denies you the ability to get master round one. Okay. I thought that looked pretty suspicious, but apparently nothing. Apparently nothing there. 
I don't know, I guess it feels like maybe our the recovery time on our dodge is a little faster. Maybe. It's really hard to tell. This Chloranthi ring might, might not be doing anything. Nope. Hey, get away from me. Get away from me. Ah. Well, that's going to do damage to me. There goes my Guanstone. So you can't actually evade that thing. I thought we were not able to shoot it. Now I'm actually not. Now I'm feeling unsure of whether we've seen that before. I definitely saw it before in a run that I did off camera on my own old save file. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you can't shoot that thing while it's flat and in chasing you mode. So if you can't outrun it, what are you supposed to do? Uh, Tar? Now let's try this. It would be cool if he slowed down. It definitely seems to be working. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to the travel of those. Okay, was well, definitely going to take damage there. Okay, that was lucky. So yeah, apparently uh, the mini bosses always just give you a ton of money, or at least have a, a very high chance of doing so. We haven't found either of our item rooms here yet. Let's. Let's wait to use any keys until we have. Wow. Or let's buy all the keys in this shop and then spend the rest of our money this level on the Nod key. Ah, the zombie bullets. Okay. I remember these, sort of. Occasionally refunds ammo when you miss. Not really great, actually. Because, like, what if you just don't miss? Wouldn't that be a better way to manage your stuff? Well, I appreciate that this thing at least has a fast reload. Uh, it's not totally ideal. The explosive round really does seem to do quite a bit of damage, though. Maybe it's better than I have been thinking it is. Okay, so it would be really cool if we could get a master round from this floor. I was just walking past that because it was blue, and then I was thinking, oh, you know what? I probably should just open it. It's too late. So have we, have we gotten a gun on this floor yet? No, none of these are from this floor. The thing we got was zombie bullets. So maybe I don't open that to try to get, try to force the boss to drop a gun. Although, I guess, actually, we probably have enough guns. Yeah, I don't actually care if the boss has a chance of dropping up. A passive or something instead. Let's just go ahead and pop this open. Alright, the M1 is a fine weapon. The most famous rifle in history. This gun's usefulness and reliability have become legend. Though not native to the gungeon, its arrival seemed to be expected by the gun dead. Yeah, so it's a very powerful single, uh, single shot rifle. It's good. It's a good weapon. It's not flashy. It doesn't do anything really cool, but it, you know. It does that thing. You point it at the enemy and it makes them die. Can't really argue with that as a mission for a gun. I don't think it's a super good boss killer. The, the, uh, the sustained damage output of this might be a little bit low. But it sure does mess up normal enemies very quickly. And of course, the uh, the famous ping at the end of the reload. The thing that people in video games have really locked onto about this gun. It seems like kind of a strange thing, I guess, to complain about while playing this game. But man, there's some people in the video game space who are real creepy and weird about how cool guns are. 
a certain type of gun obsession that is uh, very off-putting. Okay, definitely opening a green void shotgun is a fine weapon. But I'd rather open this than have a blank for the boss. Well, I guess actually we can elder blank this and then just recharge the elder blank. Right, so we've got some easy reload bullets, which synergize with... Oh, reload roll. Wait, why did I just press reload? Yeah, there we go. Instant reload on the roll with the M1911. That's actually pretty cool. All right. Uh, we're going to take this thing. I have not had great experiences with it in the past. It is undoubtedly very powerful, but it changes the way your dodge works. The dodge rolls were placed with a blink. The simple scarf was once worn by a skilled assassin, trade by his brothers, and assumed dead. So now, instead of the roll, we have this. I can hold right-click and teleport myself to anywhere in the room. If I just tap right-click while moving, it teleports me in that direction, which functions kind of like the dodge roll, except that there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of charge-up time on it, and if you hold it for like just a frame too long. You'll end up standing in place longer than you want to, and I get hit a lot, basically. It doesn't take much to make me get hit a lot, out of curiosity. Okay, is, we do still get the reload from that. I guess that's not really a good enough reason to use this gun over our other guns. Uh, let's use the Rectangler for now. I, or the, I'm not, the M1, maybe? I don't know. We have a lot of good, we have a lot of good normal enemy killing guns. Yeah, right? Like, that's pretty effective. What, a, what of our many, many guns is going to be best for fighting a boss? I guess, to some degree, it, term, it depends on what the boss is, but... Frost Giant's generally just good at dealing damage quickly. Press the wrong button there. I was trying to switch my active item. Because we have all these bees. Almost got hit. Hold on. Yep. Did get hit. It just, basically, it just makes your dodge a tiny bit slower in exchange for letting you do some stuff that you could not otherwise do. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, but as we've seen on many occasions, I already almost always miss my dodge, so... <laughs> Frost Giant's gonna bail me out here. Okay. The second version of this run is going pretty well. Got here our Omega Bullet, which makes the final uh, round of the clip do a whole bunch of extra damage. I think I'll just take this ammo from the Frost Giant. One of a pair of artifact bullets forged by Edwin's daughter as part of her journeyman's trial. Edwin the Great Gunsmith. I think not a character you actually meet. Pretty sure. Okay, I have no blanks left. No point searching for secret rooms. We have enough keys to just go down to the final floor, or to open both chests on the next floor. Things are going well. Was there anything I wanted to buy? That's right. I definitely wanted to put the rest of my money into this. We're making really good progress on that. And my scarf gets caught in the elevator. Uh... Totally killing me as it shoots down to the next floor. Yeah, it's good to show off the scarf, but I need to... I need to remember that I have it, mostly. Uh, should I break that open? Maybe I should just leave it for now. Oh, you know what? I was thinking, leave it for now so that I don't have a chance to... Oh, that's a... That's a cape bullet. I couldn't see his cape because he was facing forward. I noticed it at the last moment. Well, shoot. It's alright. 
The rest of the cape bullets won't hold it against us. See, I guess there's no reason to wait on this because I'm not trying to gun force at this point. Because there's not really a, uh, not really any value in it. I could have just destroyed it. The extra chance of, uh, extra chance of getting our little junk buddy. But I'm pretty sure that the odds of getting him are quite low. We've been lucky to see him twice already. Okay, so the actual... Oh, yeah, that's right. The actual thing is actually invisible. We need to... Either use a gun that is going to reveal a large area, or just get lucky. Or kill the, the image, which causes it to appear for a little while. We got lucky there that it was sitting directly on top of its image. Seems like a bad strategy to me, but what do I know about being a displacer beast? How many hits is that thing going to take? Okay, we are putting this... Oh, wow. Okay, that explosion was very bad. I'm pretty sure that dodge would have been fine if we had not had the scar. I think. Alright, so we got the rat room, but the rat room is not useful to us now because we do not yet have the Nod key. I'm very curious what we're going to find down there when we actually get that open. Oh, hey, Bloody Eye. This intoxicating substance that grants the user uh, grants the user vision that slows down enemy bullet speeds. Gun cultists use it in their dark rituals, hoping to gain the favor of the order of the true gun. Let me tell you something. Those guys are jerks. You don't even want their favor. Uh, let's switch to something a little bit less valuable to test these walls real quick. Aha. Uh -huh. Should I just destroy this? Honestly, these these super low quality items are doing nothing but bogging us down. And there you go. Already he's at sword level. Maybe he's not as rare as I thought he was. Uh, jeez. What do I want to do? I guess we can finish off the Frost Giant. May as well empty it. Get him, Junkie. It's weird. I feel like I only saw him a few times during my uh, during my first save where I was 100%ing stuff, but he's all over the place uh, this series. Not that I'm mad. He's a great item. Just weird. Yeah, this is a really good situation we're in. If we manage to, if I manage to lose us the game, I'm gonna take some personal responsibility here. If I manage to lose us the game from this position, I'm gonna be very disappointed in myself. Ooh, I'm very curious what that does. We might be able to get to 77 uh, casings before the end of the floor. You know, given the uh, the damage output of this gun, it might actually be a good boss killer. Maybe we should save it. Let's um, go back to the M1, I guess. Man, I I almost just said out loud the phrase, "I have too many guns." I bet the gungeon is not into hearing stuff like that. Yep, I'm being punished already. Ah. Oh yeah, I can't roll through enemies anymore.
It's not a big loss, but it does actually make those guys kind of annoying to fight because they're small. Ah. Yep, walking right into stuff. That's not the Scarf's fault, that's just me walking into bullets for no reason that were not previously going to hit me. We'll see, this thing's a little bit more, it feels a little better when it kills stuff in one hit. We've gotten to a point where our enemy health has scaled high enough that it's not doing that anymore. Oh, what am I, we already found the secret room on this floor. So this guy will sell us a drum clip, the full metal jacket, which I do like a lot, or that wood beam. It's not even a gun. It can't be good, right? Like, I kind of want to know what it does. I guess let's finish the floor first. Let's get an idea of how much money we actually have to work with. Uh, Frost Giant? Probably Frost Giant. A fine gun for just really pouring damage into something. my blanks. We're going to be aggressive with the blank. I'm going to shoot him from a little closer. Oh, I almost got myself into a very large amount of trouble there. It's like your dodges are just way better with this thing if you are planning them a little bit ahead. The problem is the loss of, uh, the loss of ability to react super quickly, which Really, you shouldn't need. You should know what's going to happen and be able to plan ahead a little bit. Okay, flawless on the Balrog. Not a bad outcome. And... Wait, the Master Round has a... Huh. The third Master Round has a synergy with the alien weapon. That's weird. Let's get our alien weapon out. It just said Chief Master. Oh, my. Okay, it has become a whole different kind of thing. And then there's different rounds at the end here. Okay, bigger and explosive. Yeah, this weapon is considerably more compelling now. Also, Blood Brooch. That's a good item. We can afford a little bit more curse, I think. So we don't quite have enough for the Daruma... And we have no way of generating money. So we could we could buy some stuff from this guy and learn what some new stuff does, but maybe I want to buy a key instead. The full metal jacket is great, though. I'm a little worried that if I'm doing a good job here, there's some chance that I'm going to um, double blank stuff. Like if I remember to blank right before a bullet hits me, the full metal jacket might also use the blank. Let's try out the wood beam. Okay, this is also cursed. Not obviously, though. Uh, it's a weapon. Oh, wow. Okay, and just having it extended like this is slowly taking the ammo down. Huh. I wonder if it does, like, bat projectiles away? Not technically a gun, but you could probably smack some bullet kin around with it. Huh. We're ending up with kind of a lot of curse. I'm a little worried about that. But we have Junkie, we have great guns, we have a lot of health to work with. Probably we're fine. Probably it's going to be fine. Alright, let's try, let's try hitting something with our wood beam. Uh, seems to be... Okay, it has no effect on bullets. You just, you just kind of like wiggle it around on enemies. Uh, take that. Damage does not seem to be very good. Let's uh, let's switch to a real weapon. Yeah, sure. This yeah, I don't know. Maybe there are some cool synergies with that. I guess let's let's use our alien sidearm for a little bit. Now that it's a little bit more interesting. Yeah, it's got good damage output. Managed to. Uh, Try to get away from this guy. I want to make sure that I... Okay. Killed a major bullet in one hit with the one of the ending shots. Yeah, this seems very good. It's a weird thing for there to be a synergy with. I wonder if each of the master rounds has a synergy now, maybe? 
let's see, what don't we want? I guess I don't think this wood beam is actually very good. Maybe like the RPG. Uh, we have this synergy with it though now. It is better than it used to be. We just have so many guns. The Lil Bomber is a low quality gun and so I'm concerned that gun munching is gonna just give us another low quality gun. Why don't we combine our sweet guitar, which is pretty good, but not likely to be used, honestly, at this point anymore. And then also this thing, which the game seems to regard quite highly, but which I don't think is very good. Maybe we'll get something cool out of this. Okay, avoid marshal. This is a this is an okay weapon. Compact but highly accurate. The Void Marshal is a favorite of smugglers and rogues across the galaxy. I'm not sure what this is a specific reference to. Is this supposed to be Han Solo's gun? It doesn't really look like Han Solo's gun. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Anyway, let's switch back to one of our other... One of our 50 other extremely good guns. Oh no! I don't have a key. Well... Reload, reload. Okay. Junk for junkie. Look how tough he is now. Oh, I should not be entering the room with this gun drawn. Yeah, this gun is extremely alright. Also, it makes a good, good satisfying sci-fi shooting sound. I assume that that is the sound that the, the, this gun makes in Halo. Whatever gun this is a reference to. Really haven't played that much Halo. I had, uh, I had gotten out of owning video game consoles by the time Halo was a thing. All these, like, teleporting enemies are real tough for Junkie to deal with. You know, given how many good items and guns we have, maybe we should just trash whatever chests we find from here on. Just to try to get Junkie, like, let's see exactly how high we can take him, right? Ah, saw you. Not as sneaky as you think you are. Okay. Yeah, our equipment is, uh, should not have reloaded. I don't remember. It's tough to turn around on the ice. Our equipment is definitely better than it needs to be for this level, and that's comforting given how far down we are already. Like, as long as I don't get myself killed doing stupid stuff with my scarf. Can I use this? I can use this to go through walls. There does not have to be a, uh, a visible path between me and the place I want to teleport to. Yeah, if I manage to screw this run up somehow, I will be very cross with myself. Did that really hit me? Took my eyes off my character for a second. I thought all of the little uh, bullet adventurers that she had produced were dead already. Ah. Yep. See right there. That is a dodge that absolutely would have worked without the scarf. I need to stop taking dumb damage. The game's doing its best to make that okay. <laughs> make me immune to the consequences of my actions, which I appreciate. Alright, can you get even better than pants? We're gonna find out next floor, or maybe this floor. We might get a lucky chest.
Honestly, this thing's not even really going through its ammo that quickly. It feels like it's firing really quickly, but... Not enough for me to feel stressed. Also, we are, I suppose, getting kind of a lot of ammo. So I'm gonna not buy a key because I don't think I'll actually use it. Vertebrae K47 is well out of our price range. Probably just buy, like, health, right? I think it's the only thing that we really want to spend casings on at this point. Yeah. Alright, let's go fight a boss. Do I want to just use this? Seems awfully good. Eh, let's go Frost Giant. The Frost Giant probably is faster damage output. Ooh. Hold on, does that change things? I want to use something explosive then, or something that penetrates. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's use the alien. Where's the, where is it? Let's use the alien thing for the uh, for the fact that it has some explosive rounds. Let's just end that attack right now. Oh come on! I decided I wanted to try to use my scarf to do a smart thing, but it took me too long to uh to aim my teleport. Yeah, I just don't... I just don't want to sit through that attack. I, wanna, I really don't want to fire the uh, the explosive shot while they're in the air. Okay. Yep, just dodge comes out a little slower than I wanted to, reliably a little bit slower than I wanted to. All right, well it's not like we actually needed the master round. We're probably fine. Ooh, I do love the Zorgon. That said, I mean we're gonna stick with the with the alien blaster, right? It's doing the job. So yeah, that's just anything else we need to do on this floor. Let's uh let's go win one, hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, we should. There's no reason that this should not be a victory. There are reasons that it could not be a victory, but there's no reason that it should not be a victory. Shrine to Sheltan Ammo Elemental. I don't remember... I'm pretty sure that you get ammo from that, but I don't remember what you have to give. Let's just not... Let's not even mess with weird arcane bargains right now. Yeah, we need to get the, a little bit more junk. This guy is he's pushing right up against the border of being dramatically overpowered already. Curious to see how much better it gets. Oh good, one of these things has spawned. Alright, we're getting it, we're doing it. So wait, can I just... Yeah, that seems pretty alright. Alright, it's all for you, Junkie. Ooh! Look at you, now you're a Junk Paladin. I'm actually about to run out of ammo for this thing. Got one last good kill with it. Yeah, the Rectangler is still doing pretty alright damage. That guy's probably gonna die. Sorry, Junkie's probably just gonna kill him. I wonder if Junkie has, like, magic now? Is he a sorcerer? Paladins have spells, right? Okay, he does, like, a... Ch oh, he charged to us and blanked! That's a very paladin-y thing to do. 
so sometimes if he thinks you're gonna get hit, he just he does a yeah like a charge and blank maneuver like that. That's really cool. Also, that'd actually help him traverse the room because he seems to walk pretty slowly on his own. He sometimes has difficulty fighting enemies because of it. He's still doing his whirlwind. Yeah, we're definitely destroying the other chest we find. Okay, well, here we have a locked door that we are obviously just going to teleport to the other side of. Hey, man. Look, maybe it was the other way? Oh, hello there. I seem to have gotten turned around. This map doesn't seem to be accurate. At least, not anymore. I'm sure you've noticed, but the walls keep shifting. It's not like the other dungeons I've explored at all. You think you can help me map this place out again? Sure thing. Wonderful. You go that way, and I'll keep mapping this room. We can meet up here. Yeah, good. Way to pull your own weight there, buddy. Okay. Well, if I had some keys, I might well give them to you. Oh, this. Do not like this room. These do not, in fact, have infinite range. <laughs> Junkie's such a hero. Seems like he runs up and blanks on the enemies sometimes, too. Yeah, we gotta find that other chest. And hopefully get one or two chests as random room clear rewards. That would be neat. Well, this weapon is not quite powerful enough to just annihilate the, the jammed. I guess it has to it has to have some limitations. Given how um how very common this thing is though, I gotta say I am I'm very pleased with this synergy. Like this gun comes up all the time due to being uh, brown quality. It's nice to know that I'm actually gonna be able to make use of it. Okay, we did already have the, the second master round. I was starting to wonder, like, maybe it's not that it synergizes with the third master round, but instead that it synergizes with any. But no, we had the second one we picked when we picked it up, and the synergy didn't kick in until we got the third. All right, well we have some keys. We could buy some things from that lock dude if we wanted. The gun knight armor is another piece of uh, piece of armor that gives you armor when you buy it, and then an armor at the beginning of each floor. Obviously, at this point, this is not not the ideal time for it. Make sure we grab our bullet. And then we'll come back. We'll figure out what we want to buy later. Junkie seems to have uh, a little bit of trouble controlling his direction of movement when he's whirlwinding. I'm going to get good at using the scarf. It does seem like it must be powerful. I feel bad. We're destroying a lot of, like, pretty good quality chests here, but... Junkie is more important than everything. Ooh. Check that out. He's like a junk angel Valkyrie thing. I think he's wearing boob plate now. I guess I just assumed Junkie was a dude. Not necessarily uh, any good reason to do so. Uh, well. Seems to be resolved. I don't think I hit that uh, that enemy at all. I think that was all junkie. 
No, 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 no. Oh, I can't... You can't teleport out of the room. Okay, so the... The tell is when the hand glows. I was looking for a tell in the shadow, but the tell is actually the hand itself glowing right before it comes down on you. Alright, we've completed our map. Where is my junk helper? Did Junkie not make it into the room with us? Okay, there, huh. Weird. Just missing for a room. Alright, kid. Maybe it was the other way? Oh, it's you again. How's the mapping coming along? Well, it turns out it's coming along just great. So he gave us a backup gun. It fires backwards. Another incredible use of tape in the gungeon. This backward-facing gun has been charmed to fire in solidarity with any equipped gun. Uh, almost certainly useless at this point. If we still had rooms to clear... It would do cool things, but unfortunately we are beyond that. Well, there's no reason not to buy this heart locket. And then neither one of these items actually does anything at this point, but also the key doesn't do anything, so. Let's pop in here and buy health. Full heart, a piece of armor. Don't have enough for the ammo anymore, that's fine. We have more than enough weapons with more than enough bullets in them. I'm going to throw some bees at this dragon right away. I have uh, pretty high hopes for our survival here. I do wish that the... Uh, I'm going to blank this attack in a second. I was going to wait for it to uh, actually get all the bullets on screen. No, I'm going to blank this too. Stuff I don't want to deal with. Oh dear. <laughs> Rectangling the dragon is uh, that's quite a look. I do wish that if you have multiple active items, it would show the bar for the second one, like way over to the left. Uh, I tried to... Okay, I managed to blank one of the knives out. So it turns out that is in fact a thing you can do. It's kind of a panic blank there. Throw some bees at him. All right, this is going well. Yeah, Junkie is awesome now. Like, really, really awesome. Okay, this should be very easy to avoid damage through here. Switch to anything. Okay, we're going to two-phase him. Go back to the rectangular. This is probably the right gun. Alright, it's just a matter of not getting real stupid. Should be easy. Should be a thing I'm capable of. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty clean. Unfortunately, we don't get to take all of this, uh, all this filthy, wonderful loot with us into the past. Well, we got our master round again. I'm gonna take this too. We don't even need it. It doesn't even do anything. But it's indestructible and it makes me feel safe. Oh! I'm back to having my normal roll again, even though I clearly still have this uh, scarf on. I guess we've already lost all of our items. Well, maybe we'll be able to keep the visual effect of the cool flowing scarf as we go back into the past. I like the way it looks a lot more than the way it works, frankly. To be clear, I do think it's a really good item. I'm just not very good at using it. Let's see what this extremely handsome rogue could possibly have to regret in his past. It's almost all of it, see? Just grab what's left and let's boogie. Hold your space horses, you can't rush something like this. Besides, Hmons don't have eyes everywhere. There's no way we'll run into anybody out here. Just gotta get the clamp lined up. Not doing a great job. Oh hey! 
That, that's quite a number of gun barrels. Unregistered craft sword. This is HM Absolution. Your craft has been scanned and is known to be carrying property of the Imperial Hegemony of Man. You will be towed by standard tractor. Power off all systems but life support. Any acts of aggression will be met with supreme prejudice. Comply within 20 seconds. Yeah. You gotta make the jump and get out of here. There's no time for me to dock. But you don't have a jump drive. Just go. I can't. Or rather, I can, but this time, I won't. Computer, murder. I would, I would rewrite the code so that it would recognize the command murder. All right, let's do this. So we have some missiles here. Okay, this is... We do have a dodge in the ship. It doesn't go quite as far as I was hoping it was going to. I was hoping we'd be able to just, like, dodge all the way through that. Uh, through that big beam. All right, I'm taking a ton of damage. This one feels more difficult than the others. I'm gonna... Can I destroy these? Okay. Yeah, I... I remembered that his thing was was a space shooter, but I did not remember how difficult it was. Nope, dead. Well, boy, we weren't even close on that one. Also, all the sound went out. I guess we're in space, so. Killed by the HS Absolution, and honestly, my own incompetence. Okay, so that was not great. Uh, let's return to the breach where hopefully there will be sound again. Uh, that was not great, but we did make some forward progress on the elevator thing, at least. We got to see a lot of cool items, and we can make it back there again. I have confidence. So, let's go and spend some money. Actually, let's go and see the shortcut guy. Hey, shortcut man. You're here. Thanks for your help with the elevator. I'm excited to see if it works. Let's test it out. Use the floor panels to select the elevator, then step in. So, yeah, we can tune it to different floors right now. Two is the only floor available. We'll have to build out the rest of them. So we had to keep visiting him in the elevator shafts. And hey, man, what's up? You're new. That's... No, you're new. You know, I didn't even come here on purpose. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guy. I guess not everybody's here to help. Let's see. A uh, mass shotgun? I mean... Most shotguns are mass shotguns, right? Well, I'm not going to turn down a shotgun anyway. Bullet board. These are getting expensive. Oh, the heroin is a fantastic weapon. And then, yeah, we're not going to be able to afford anything else, unfortunately. Hey, buddy, you're looking jolly. One day I will find my control rod and escape. Yeah, you better... Don't say that kind of stuff when she's awake. Okay, well... <laughs> That's kind of an unsettling ending. Hey, man, how you doing? Since our little business arrangement has been turning a profit, I thought I might expand my inventory a bit. Let me know what you need, and I'll get it added to my stock. Ah, we have more stuff we can unlock. Well, may as well unlock this M16. We have enough money. Okay, progress. We're making progress, even if I am uh, failing in some regards. <laughs> so that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time, tomorrow for a shorter episode. I mean it. And we'll see you then.